Did you notice your last grocery store run cost you 2.6% more than it did in March? According to the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics, most grocery stores around the country are seeing that increase. So Paulina Butska looked into it locally. We've joked at our store that we've sold more yeast um, in the past six weeks than we have in the past six years. I mean, the, the demand for certain products um, has certainly been there. While the only thing rising across the country is the price of groceries, at Rainbow Blossom, Summer Auerbach says she hasn't had to hike up their prices, attributing her steady rates to locally outsourced vendors. But even she isn't exempt from the wrath of COVID. We have had a few of our um, vendors kind of pull out of promotional um, programs that were set for the future. Promotions keep food costs lower for the consumer and for the proprietor. But right now it's a supply and demand market. The price is going up. There could be a lot of factors that it's more expensive for these businesses to actually um, do business and so they're adjusting their prices accordingly. Um, it could be that businesses are selling more than they than they had and that they would they would use lower prices as a tool to sell more. There isn't necessarily a food shortage as there is an adjustment in the way in which food is manufactured and distributed. Products like meat and milk normally slated for schools and restaurants are available. But when it reaches the consumer, your options become limited, costing you more at checkout. A customer may be coming in and only wants to buy one pound of beef, but now they're having to buy five because that's the only size um, you know, packaging that we're able to, to buy. Procure. At her shop, they've gone curbside and home delivery. It certainly is a different business model and it's much more labor intensive. Behind the scenes, they're using more manpower than ever before. Individually packaging products that come in bulk, shortening store hours to allow for more cleaning, hazard pay, all additional expenses they've taken on to make sure they're keeping their doors open. Because everything else is closed, I think the reality is that people are spending more on groceries, but um, that they're saving money everywhere else. Expenses Summers customers won't be feeling in their wallets unless her vendors raise her prices. Paulina 